So when we say collector, we're not talking about stamps or baseball cards. It's not what your kids or even you might pursue as a normal hobby. This is an attachment to objects that's become obsessive by someone who is antisocial and extremely introverted. These people attach a part of themselves to their collection. If you try to separate them from it or take it away from them, they will react violently, even psychotically. They've suffered damage to their prefrontal cortex. That's the part of the brain that regulates basic Freudian fantasy reality. They can still function, uh, drive a car, go to work, even do their taxes. In fact, she excels at goal-oriented jobs, like the precision of sewing or the details of abduction. But they've lost their ability to categorize the difference between living and dead, uh, belonging and loss. That has been irreparably destroyed. So what's she collecting, women? Actually, we think she's collecting dolls. Technically replacing them. Uh, we believe that she lost the originals sometime within the last three months, and this is what served as her stressor. She searched for replacements, and when she couldn't find them, she started abducting the closest possible surrogate. Women of different ethnicities, but a similar physicality. The drug-induced paralysis is part of the fantasy. She puts her victims in a position where they can't talk back so she can fetishize them like the objects she's lost. Um, look, I respect your analysis, but, but this woman kidnapped six women and killed three of them. You're telling us this is about dolls. This unsub stitched a wig onto the scalp of her latest victim. It's a technique used to attach hair to porcelain dolls. And keep in mind, collectors and serial killers do share certain traits. Uh, a lot of serial killers take trophies attaching the same significance to them that this collector does to objects. But this unsub's intent isn't violence. She needs this collection to be complete so she could feel in control of her life, probably to overcome some trauma she experienced. She really only feels that control when the collection is complete, which is why she's repeating an abduction pattern with living victims. If she loses a doll, or in this case, if she loses a woman who represents a doll, she has to replace it. This woman works alone. We know she has medical training. Look for nurses' aides or orderlies who are fired for a lack of social graces. She can't fake a bedside manner. We believe she's currently working as a tailor or seamstress, and we're following those leads now. But do let us know if you notice any overlap in your suspect pools. Thank you.